friends, our next story for Under the Sea Week is Gilbert the Great. So you can see that this is another story about what type of sea animal. Awesome. This is another shark story. This is written by Jane Clark and Charles Fugue. Hmm, I wonder. I see another little guy kind of near his mouth. I wonder if he's going to get eaten. Let's read to find out. Whoops. Gilbert the Great. From the time Gilbert the Great White Shark was a tiny pup, Raymond the Remora struck, stuck to him like glue. Raymond was all but always at Gilbert's side. There's Raymond the Remora. When Gilbert was stuck in the seaweed, Raymond untangled him. When Gilbert got dirty, Raymond cleaned him up. And when Gilbert lost his first row of teeth, Raymond helped him collect them for the tooth fairy. Gilbert and Raymond had lots of fun. They loved to play finball, tide and seek, and sardines. They shared everything. Then one day Raymond told Gilbert that his family had to move across the ocean. I don't want to go, but mom says I have to, cried Raymond. As Raymond and his family swam away, Gilbert's mother hugged him tight and tried to comfort him. Oh, as you can see, he's crying. Raymond's my best friend, said Gilbert. Why did he have to go away? It's not fair. I know, said mom, but his family couldn't just leave him behind. She kissed Gilbert on the snout. Go and play tide and seek with pilot fish. It will keep your mind off of Raymond. But Gilbert couldn't stop thinking about his friend. He's pretty sad. I want to move with Raymond, Gilbert said. He's moved too far away, said Mom. We have to stay here. Let's go watch the basketball game. The Thrashing Threshers are playing the Tidal Tigers. Who do you want to win? Gilbert looked around. There were remoras everywhere, but none of them were Raymond. I don't care, he said, and he swam off before either side scored a basket. Lots of sea creatures watching. Let me try to shoot. It's my fault Raymond moved away, Gilbert snapped as he passed an eel. Last week I called him a sucker. You didn't make Raymond leave, Mom smiled. Everyone fights, sometimes. The clownfish did their best to cheer Gilbert up, but nothing could make him smile. Hm, that's funny that the clownfish were trying to make him smile. Ha, 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 ha. The next day at school, everyone was very kind to Gilbert. They even gave him extra long turn on the seesaw. Cheer up, said Marvin the, the mallet. There are plenty of fish in the sea. There isn't another Raymond, said Gilbert. Ooh. Can anybody tell what their seesaw is made out of? It's an oar, like in, you used to swim in the ocean. Gilbert was still sulking when mom came to collect him from school. It's not the same without Raymond, Gilbert pouted. That night, Gilbert cried and cried and cried, and his warm tears mingled with the cold ocean water. Oh, look at him crying down there. He's so sad. The next morning, Mom took Gilbert gently by the fin and towed him into the shallow water. Rocked by the gentle waves, they gazed at the seashore and the bright blue sky. I hope Raymond's new home is as nice as this, said Gilbert. I'm sure it is, said Mom. I'm hungry, Gilbert said suddenly. We'll go to the wreck, said Mom. Gilbert's eyes lit up. They didn't usually go to the wreck. Mom didn't like him eating junk food. So the, this is the shipwreck must be they're talking about. Scrunch, munch, crunch. As Gilbert was biting into a pile of tin cans and bits of old boat, shh, he spotted a small remora crying in the shadows. Gilbert stopped crunching and swam towards her. So it looks like she's crying down here, if you can see. Oops. Get my arm out of the way. There she is crying. What's the matter? Gilbert asked. Mom and I moved and I had to leave my shark behind. She sobbed. Now I don't have any friends. My remora had to move too, said Gilbert sadly. 
I'm so lonely. Gilbert and the Remora looked at each other and smiled. Wobbly smiles. I'm Gilbert, said Gilbert. I'm Rita, replied the Remora. Just then, a ray of sunlight filtered through the deep blue ocean. Gilbert's teeth flashed as he grinned a huge grin. Do you want to play finball with me, Rita? He asked. Sunlight danced in Rita's eyes. I'd love to, she said, and the two new friends swam off to find a ball to play with. The end. So it went to show that you can still make new friends no matter where you are or no matter who you're with.